Hey everybody, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the Cisco Firepower Threat Defense in HA mode with this secondary Cisco FTD2 right here. So what I've done so far with this is I've just brought it up. Let's take a look. So all, all that's been done is it's been given an an IP address, a management IP address. It's been initialized, so it's it's just all ready to go. Um, so right here is our primary, and on our primary, what you can see is we have ten objects. We have policies set up already, and on our secondary, you can see objects, we have the default ones, and there are no policies at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up HA. So let's, let's take care of this. So this, this is pretty straightforward. You go to device firepower. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you enable the interface because I, I ran through this and I did not enable the interface. I could still ping the IP address, but my HA wasn't coming up. So make sure you enable the interface. So let's go to that and we'll do that on both of these. We're going to use gig ethernet three for both the, for the HA and the uh, stateful link. Now you could, if you were doing it in production, use separate ones, but we're just going to use the one in the lab. All right, so we're going to enable that. And then we're going to deploy these changes and wait for that to finish. Let's go to the second one. So this is a secondary one. View all interfaces. Wait for that to come up. Gig. Ethernet 03, just enable it. Okay. There it goes. And now we can deploy. All right, so wait for these to deploy. And then and then we'll be able to start. So that's still going on. So let me pause this and wait for it to finish. Okay, both of the firewalls have deployed the change that where we enabled gig 03. That's done. That's the first one. Here's the second one. That's also done. Okay, now we're ready. So we're going to do this from the first firewall, our active firewall. This is going to be right here. So we go to device firepower. It's pretty nice how we, we can do this. We can just click right here, high availability, not configured. Just click configure. It's going to ask primary device is the unit, unit you intend should be active under normal circumstances. Configure the primary first, secondary device remains in standby mode until the primary unit becomes unavailable. Um, there's also this drop down, how high availability works. It's, it's pretty nice. It gives you a nice overview of how this works. Primary device works fine. There you can see how the traffic will go. Primary device failed. It goes through the secondary device. So, so we're gonna configure this as primary device. We're going to select our interface, which we said was gig03, and we're going to use IPv4. We're just going to use 1.1.1.1 and the secondary 1.1.1.2. And this net mask will be a slash 30. Uh, you can also use an encryption key if you want. We're not going to do that here but we can. 
We just have to make sure it matches on both sides. And what we're going to, so that's for the failover link and the stateful failover link. In this case, we're just going to use, use the same interface. Okay, it has some warnings down here. Make sure both devices have the same smart license and cloud region. And that it may cause a momentary traffic loss. So if you're in production, you want to be a little careful with this. You probably don't want to start sending traffic over before you've created this HA pair. All right, so we're going to activate HA. It gives you the HA configuration was copied to the to the clipboard. We can see the details and here we go. So you can copy this for when you're configuring the secondary device, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. We'll just, uh, we'll just re we'll remember that. So we'll close that out and you can see that deployment is in progress. Let that run. Yeah, so if you ever need to check, you can just click up here on this and it will show you the deployment. That's always going to be pending changes and deployment in progress. All right, let's go to the secondary. Click on Firepower 2. Wait for this to load. And what we want to do here is... So it's going to give us, it's giving us this warning. You cannot configure because this is out of the box. Uh, you cannot configure HA because one or more interface is configured to obtain its address using DHCP. So first we have to go in here. So we're going to have to make a change here. Uh, this one right here, I believe. It could be the outside. Let's check. Let's check the outside. Okay. So the outside interface right now is set DHCP. So we want to make sure it's set to static. Okay, so before we can do anything with this, we can also get rid of this IP address off here. Though I don't think it really matters as long as it's static, so we're not going to change that. Well, actually, let's go back in there. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this DHCP server pool. Okay. Let's apply those changes. Here it gives you a view of what's being changed. I mean, it, it's this is exactly what Palo Alto does. It's, it's nice. It looks good. Deploy now. Okay, so it's uh, deploying at this time. So let's go back to the first one. So the, that is done. It's, it's configured everything. Copy the HA configuration. You can copy it again, paste it on the secondary device. And that's it. Got it. Okay. So we have to wait for the, so right now it's going to say peers failed because it can't connect to it. It's not configured. Uh, it's going to give you an overview of everything. High availability configuration model software make sure everything lines up interface and stateful failover same as failover not configured and here this is this is nice right here failover criteria i like how it has this nice you can define what you want and how fast it will fail over so you can do number of failed interfaces exceeds one percentage of failed interfaces. So that's pretty nice. And you can also change the timing. So I'll, we'll just stick with the defaults right here. Pull time every five seconds and the hold time 25 seconds. Pull time for the peer. So that's for the interface timing configuration. Let's take a look at what it says. These settings determine how quickly the active device can determine if an interface has failed. So you can tune these to whatever you want. And for the peer 
time and configuration every one second it pulls and it's a 15 second pull time and again this can be with faster pull time the device can detect a failure faster However, faster detection can cause unnecessary switchovers when the network is temporarily congested. So you have to be aware, you have to balance that. All right, so that's that's good. That's nice, you can configure that all from this page. And that's all available if you go device firepower and all you have to do is click on high availability right here. And there you go. All right, let's see how our, okay, so this is done now. So now let's go back here, configure. This is the secondary device, or we'll select the interface. Interface gig three. So it's gonna be the same primary, same secondary, net mask, same. Use the same interface for the failover, link. Uh, no IPsec encryption. We're not going to do that. And that's it. So now we're doing secondary device. And it looks like you can actually just paste from clipboard right in there. It's really pretty slick. All right, so let's click activate HA. And this is going to take a little while. So while we're waiting, I'm going to pause and start it back up once we see the HA taking effect. Okay, so right now you can see this is the secondary one. You can see negotiating. So it's, it's trying to connect to the primary over that failover link, 1.1.1. Um, so let's see what the primary looks like. Primary is showing failed. And so it has not come up yet. Let's see if we can refresh this. Or go to high availability and let's take a look there. So it's still saying failed. So this one is still negotiating. So let's continue. I'm going to pause it again. We're going to wait. Okay, so right now both devices are showing active. So let's see what we can do to troubleshoot this. Let's go to high availability. This is on the secondary, Firepower 2. So everything looks all right. You go to failover history. There is no history there. Let's go to the primary. Let's look at failover history. Standby ready, detected an active peer. So this one seems to be able to contact the secondary, but secondary is having some kind of issue. So let's go, this is the secondary one. Uh, let's resume HA, are you sure you wanna, yes. Let's try this again. See if that jump starts anything. Okay, I don't see anything going on. Let's check our... Let's log back into Eve. Okay, so we've got zero, 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 0003 connected. So that looks good. Zero, 00 out to this switch. Zero, 01 to this switch. That looks everything looks good there. So let's see what is going on. OK. 
Okay, so we have no, let's look at deployment history. HA join deployment. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, since this is not coming up right, let's go back to high availability. Let's go here and let's, let's see if we can break HA. All right, we'll try to reconfigure HA. And we'll finish this up in the next video. We'll do some more troubleshooting and see if we can get this running. Thank you for watching.